I wore a stone back on me. I'm actually going to your house. Hey, get it for I'm lucky to see you. Uh, I came to your house yesterday to complain something. Um, it's about um, your son-in-law, Osita. Uh, uh, Osita now, your uh, son. What, what I am hearing concerning you and that boy is... Hey! Respect yourself. Is it your business? But I was... Oh, is, it, oh, is, is Osita married to your daughter? Eh? But I was... Is also... he married to your daughter? Won't you go home and take care of your family? You want to gossip? You want to gossip, Abi? If if record, you can't come mad. Caro, I I am giving you something that I. Do. But I just wanted to advise. Look what? I can't walk back around no fe. Hey. What did you hear? I heard that you want to bring your late brother's daughter into your house to live with you. The ones you have in your house, have you finished taking care of them? Eh? Do you know what you are? You are a busy ears. Shut up! What did I just hear you say? Ah, shut up! Listen, I am not I surprised that someone like you eh, <laughs> is talking like this. No. You are not supposed to be part of this plan. Hey, hey. You're supposed to be living with the aliens. Okay, How dare you like... talk to a titled man like me like that? Uh, title. Yes. Uh, yeah, Give me the title. He cheered, gathered, and confirmed me a titled man. Okay, you are you, you okay. calling me a... Yes, I know yes. I am a Boroko from Turkey. <laughs> not the one from Singapore. <laughs> you, from Turkey? Yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of what? Be very careful. Because I am the current model in town now. That is why. Look at you. It's hunger. It's what is hunger that is affecting you? That is the problem. Okay? It's hunger. Me. I go. Me. I go on our Tell me you. Listen. Don't, don't ever you push yourself for that to my side again. Because I will dash you a good slap. Give me. Can't do me I will do something. Do your worst. Eh? Oh, Let you want me, to go? This is Chinese style. You when I enter Singapore, you will now regret it. You don't know my kind of person. Move further now. You want to try Let me? Let me give you a pack You want to try me? You change your father's name. You know Karo now? Eh. You know what Karo can do? Forget about your size. You know what Karo can do? Forget about your size. I will drop this one. I will give it to you from the under. I, I will drop this Sure that you are well prepared for what you are here for. Are you capable of doing this that brought you here? Great Abby, I've told you that I am ever ready. If I am not ready, I won't be here wasting my time. So go ahead with the preparation of the charm. I am a 
I hope you know the consequences of what you're about to do. Have you searched your mind and coming to conclusion that you are fully ready to embark on what you're about to do? Sir, I don't care, Abe. I don't care. Let anything be the repercussion. Give me the charm. I want that girl on to obey me and do my beatings at all times. That's what I care. You don't care? <laughs> that makes a man. I don't know why not going to get I'm about to, to deliver the message of which you have sent me to do. Mazibe, you see this room? Eh? You still have my friend? <laughs> now listen. So, great happy. How do I use the soap? Every morning, before you do anything, use this soap and wash your face. After washing your face, don't clean it with anything. And the most important part of it, don't ever kiss in the time you apply the soap. Mm -hmm. So that when the girl Ngozi or whatever you call her them, sees your face. She will obey all your instructions. She will bow to all your orders. But, 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 but um, it's great happy. Uh -huh. I, I love kiss so much. Change it to another thing. They allow the kiss to continue. Da! We are talking about how to make you to become a man. Abi is about to grant your request. Abi is even thinking of how to give you more powers and authority. And you are here because of kissing. Mm -hmm. Now leave. Mm -hmm. We are trying to find a way to secure your life. Life in abundance. And you are here because of kissing. It's okay. Leave me on. Leave. It's okay. Leave me on. It's okay. Leave me on. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. We are talking of how to give you more life. More favor. And you are here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mobbing. Yes, sir. And what name did you call me? What name did you just call me? How many times have I warned you to stop calling me Papa? Eh? Do I look like your late father? Eh? No, sir. Then, any other time you open this, your dirty stinking mouth to call me Papa or Father, you will see what I will do to you. Idiot. Now, do you, you describe me? Do I look like your weak, dead father? Eh? Useless girl. Idiot. Where is the man to some? They went out, sir. They went out. Yes, sir. Is my food ready? One more, sir. Did you, what did you just say? Did I hear you say almost? No, what I, did I hear you just say almost? Because when will you have brain? When will you have brain? For more than four hours I left this house to village meeting and my food is not yet ready. Eh? I am asking you. Come back here. What, I, what have you been doing? Run really inside and go and get my food ready. Yes. Come and get inside. Yes. I said you should get. Come back here. Come back here. Follow this side. Yes. Run to that area. Come and move. Yes. Look at the way. 
are dangling. Idiot. Useless. Good for nothing. Ever since you start making this useless progress at the middle ways, I don't know what is happening if you have somebody damaging my home here. You have somebody a visitor. All these boys, I don't even trust any of these boys anymore. Let me check at the back here. I've told you, if I ever see you and that useless man called Winky, you will see what I will do to you. Idiot. Oh, then, man, since I cannot have rest in this house, you neither you nor that your dead parents will have rest. Idiot. Um, Maxwell, something has been surprising me lately. Why is Ndukwe heartless? Why is Ndukwe maltreating that boy Obina? It's like Ndukwe doesn't know that tomorrow that boy can become a great man, rich man. Even he can go to that same Obina to ask for help. My brother Ibe, why are you surprised? You know Ndukwe as a stubborn man. Very stubborn. Eh? But I pray. Very, very stubborn. Very soon. He will reap one in our soul. Very soon. I don't I, I don't, so. I try. It's a good afternoon. Oh, my daughter, you're welcome. Uncle good afternoon. I'll finish preparing the food. Eh. Okay, don't worry. I will call you when I need you. All right, sir. Ibe, hey. I thought we agreed that you will not bring this girl to your house, knowing the situation on ground. If I don't do it, who will do it? Have you forgotten that his, her late father is my brother? Whose responsibility it is to train this girl as a woman? So I have to take care of her. You're right. You're right. She needs a parental care. You know... Father is no more, her mother is no more, you are the only father she has. Hmm? You're, 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 you're right at it. So what is it? What do you want to drink? Natu, if, uh, why is it that every time I'm in this your house, you will always come out stories with stories I forget to call them? Look at it. Can you ever forget drinking? Ah, well, Maxwell, you. can you ever forget drinking? Come let and tell me your usual brand. <laughs> I know what you can think. Uh, hey, you don't let me have this that time in the up. Times will I want these children to stop cutting this sort as it leave? Eh? Nen, 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 nen. Look at the way they, they, they are removing the leaves. It will not do well. Eh? Want this girl to stop coming to this area to enable this couple to do well. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, no mama. How are you? Fine, Fine sir. sir. Please, sir, we came to check after Chisom. Is she in? Oh, no, Chisom is not around. Yeah, I hope there is no problem. Not at all, sir. We came to borrow something from her. Eh. At the moment, she's not in. But if she comes back, I will let her know that uh, her friend came to check on her. Okay, okay sir. Uh, are you people coming back? Yes, yes we'll come back. Okay, I will let her know, eh? Yeah, okay. thank you, sir. Let's be on our way. We'll be on our way, sir. Thank, thank you. you. I've, 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 I've warned them several. I don't like people tampering with other oh, 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 oh. Why are you sitting here by yourself? Looking so sad. Is everything okay? 
My everything is not okay. I want to talk to your father and my BL. What could that be? You know, ever since my parents died, I'm unable to go back to school. And I need money to pay my school fees so that I'm able to go back to school. That's why I want to talk to your dad on my behalf. Please. Okay, okay, I will. But I'm not so sure he will accept. You know my father and his attitude and excuses. Ma, there's no harm in trying. Just try and talk to him. I know he will listen to you. Please. Yeah, well, I'll really be happy to see you start school again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't frown anymore. Huh? That's my life. Okay. It's going to be okay. Huh? I'll speak to you. Mazi Ndukwe, 1,000 Naira. Ichie Maxwell, 1,000 Naira. Okoro ihe na cho. Elei, why is Okoro always like, like owing church? 1,000 naira yet to pay. Ono no uju, abara uchi. Ono. Dear Chisom, I've noticed that you have been moody ever since you came back from the church. What is the problem? Father, I am not happy at all. Why are you not happy? Okay, come, my daughter. Come, I, please come now. It's okay. Oh, 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 clean your eyes now. You don't need to be this way. It's okay. Why are you not happy? What is the problem? I, I think my friends, I think they like Ngozi more than me. That is not possible. To fear what? But that is possible. That's what they were saying in church today. See, Baba, my friend said that God is prettier than me and that her dress is even finer than mine. Okay, Chagba. That you do, nobody will ever say that because they should know that you are a deposit model in advance. Baba, they said so. They said it. And they even said that God is well behaved. That me, I'm a sports brat. <laughs> hey! Coconut, a coconut, no bonto. That you are a sport brat? Yes. Somebody made that statement? Yes. Now that the person dropped it or made the statement? Made it. Okay. That is where the trouble will begin in Tanzania. Then when we finish, we'll jump to Alakeja. That should not bother you. I know how to checkmate the situation. Now Ngozi cannot use you as a ladder to climb to greater glory. That is not possible. So Ngozi has gotten to the level of using you to climb to the higher glory. Mm -hmm. So you are now a ladder. I will make sure that I use a very tiny stick because she's very tiny to push her off from wherever she is. Huh? And is that why you are bothered? Listen, put yourself together. I will make sure that I checkmate the situation. Huh? I will do something about it. That, that shouldn't bother you. Oh. Look at you. Don't know who you are. You are a beautiful girl now. Oh, Mama Asaro, please just turn around. Turn around. <laughs> and you give me those things that you see. Look at you. Just turn around. They look at you. They don't know whoever, whoever is. They look at you. <laughs> you don't. See, wow. There are things you don't need to be worrying yourself about. Hmm? I already know how much I'm going to collect on the only for a bright price from you. <laughs> Any bond that says that Ngozi is finer than you have an evil spirit inside of him. I tell you the truth. You are an angel. Oh, Mama Asaro. You could look at me like Zimbabwe people. Look at you. Look at it. <laughs> Stop cutting eyes. I am your father. Let me don't do damage. <laughs> Papa, hmm? Papa, see, you need to do whatever you need to do to that girl past you. Because yes. if this kind of thing that happens today in church, if it happens next time, it will not. It will not. I know what to do. Except you don't trust your father that ideas used to jump out of me. Ah! So it has gotten to the point that in God's is shining my own daughter. A daughter of dead generation. It's not going to be possible. And uh, by the way, where is she? Let me start the thing in Alakeja before we travel. Ngozi! Ngozi! <clears throat> yeah, um, whenever. 
Ngozi. Ngozi. Come. Thank you. Stand here. Stand here. Good. Ngozi. Yes, Papa. I can see that you have started green wings in this house. Papa, what have I done again? What have you done again? So you still have the mouth to ask me questions, eh? Ngozi, what have you done again? So you don't know what you did, eh? Now let me count them for you. As from this minute, I don't want you to dress this way again. Yes, I am the one that will determine the way, the mood of your dressing in this house. You don't know that your parents are dead. They are dead and buried forever. You are supposed to be dressing like the children of the dead. So you are now competing with Chisom and my beautiful Lune, my own children. You two want to dress like them. You are a very stupid idiot. You are a useless girl for daring my children. As from today, if I ever see you paint this your dirty mouth, I will punch. I will, I will, I will, I will punch at your stupid mouth. I will make sure that I use cutlass to cut it away. And if you put anything near that your eye, I will punch that your eye. And uh, this is your cloth, whatever. Is it a goosey or goosey? I don't know whatever that is written there. If you wear this cloth to outshine my own children, God help you. That day, just pray for me to be in good spirit. Otherwise, I will dash you a dirty slap to wake up this your stupid sleeping brain. Idiot. You are dressing in this house as if you want to go to beauty competition in America. In my own house. A child of dead people. No, a, a daughter of dead people. You are a very stupid girl. Useless. Idiot. Now, because I am too dear to you, I would have asked you to go naked on the street. I decided to bring you some clothes. I even borrowed the money. <coughs> now, see this one. This is what you'll be wearing in this house. Whether you are going to church, or you want to sweep the house, or whatever you want to do, this is the clothes you'll be wearing. Take it. Take it away from me. I, I will slap you. If you delay again, I will slap you. Are you mad? If I get it, you take it now. Do you want me to put it in your mouth? No, would I, would I put it in your mouth? I'm asking you. When, when, when your father was alive, how many times have your father put me dressed? I'm asking you. Now, look at this one. This one is even 50 naira. I, 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 I managed to get 50 naira to, to buy it for you. Now, take it, take it. Take, take the clothes away from me. Idiot. Just say, the rest are here. <laughs> By the way, where are those your bags? They're in my room. They're inside your room. The moment you enter this house, move those bags to my room. Do I make myself clear? No, it's like you have a dirty... Do I make myself clear, Ngozi? Yes, sir. Good. Your parents are dead. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, one thing again, I don't like your look. You look like the retired spirit in my village. Let me have that wig. Remove the wig and give it to me. Take it away. Take it. Good. Any other time you wear wig in this house, you will see what I will do to you. So you mean that my, my, my beautiful chisum will wear wig. You too will wear wig. A competition of the people. And this, uh, what the, is it? A pussy or whatever they wrote on your display. If I ever see this a pussy on your body, you will see what I will do to you. You see your look? That is how you are going to remain. Don't deceive people by covering your ugliness. Eh? You think that your crocodile tears is going to wake up my sleeping consciousness? I am asking you! I am asking you! Useless girl! Your parents are dead, so you have to behave like the dead parent! Eh? Ah! What have I not done for you? You want to compete my children? Idiot! Useless! Papa, yes. I would like to talk to you about something. You want to talk to me about something? Yes, Papa. <clears throat> I'm all ears. What is it? Mm, you know, for some time now, 
Ngozi has been with us ever since the demise of her parents. Yes. I would really like her to start school so that she can join her mates. Th that's why I came to tell you whichever way you can help to pay her fees. Ma, sometimes I wonder how much this Ngozi of a person paid to you to always make you want to fight for her in every circumstances. How much did she pay to you? Do you know that I even suspect that this same Ngozi may have bewitched your brain? Ha, huh, Papa. Yes, because as long as I am concerned, your mental thinking discret is no longer working. Most recently, you have not been reasoning properly. Yes. Papa, why would you say a thing like that? I say a thing like that because you want to fight for her. You want to shed her from uh, being beaten. You want to say something that uh, once it is about Ngozi, you will carry it on your head. What is it about this Ngozi? Papa, she's our family now. She's like my sister. We have to treat her well. That is the least thing I don't want to hear from you. That is the least. Who told you that she is related to us? Uh, Papa, why would you say anything like that now? By the way, are you the father of this house or I am the father of this house? Did you give birth to me or I am the one that gave birth to you? Who should explain who is related to this family and who does not relate to this family? Is it not me? Had there been a time I called a congregation of a, maybe a discussion to let you people know that Ngozi is related to me? <sighs> But, but Papa, it's not fair now. Let's treat her well. And let's, let's treat her with love now. Then if it is not fair, go to trade fair and buy fairness and give to her. Eh? That would be better. Is it everybody that is attending school these days? What is not fair? No, working in the kitchen and sweeping the house is not enough education for her. I am asking you. Papa, Papa, please. Please don't do this now, eh? But please think about it. I will still ask you again. Ma, let it be the last time you will ever come to disturb my peace. I don't like it. I don't like it. What is all this? None of you want to allow me to catch my rest. Once you see me trying to catch some atmosphere, you will walk in and start Ngozi to the Ngozi tomorrow. I will send that girl away from this house if that is going to bring return peace in this family. Just imagine. Ngozi, I can't believe my father can be this heartless. You need to see the way he insulted me. Mama, I'm really sorry. I should have asked to talk to your dad or my dear. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, dear. Eh? He's still my father. But you know what? I think you should see Ichi Maxwell. He should be of help to you. Are you sure? Are you sure you were able to help me? Look, I'm sure he would help you out. Hmm? Will he talk to me? Yes, I'm sure. I guess that's what I would do now. Because I want you to start school as soon as possible. Hmm? Yes. Thank you very much. Everything will be okay. Start school first. Oh, wow. Gee, soon. What happened? Hmm? You don't even ask after us. Have we done anything wrong to you? Yeah. We came to your house the other day. We asked your father. She said you are not around. Since then, we have not even seen you. Any problem? That is because I was not around the day you came. Yes, I was not around the day you came. When I came back, my dad told me that you, you girls came to ask after me. But that's not even the issue. You girls didn't do anything wrong to me. The thing is that recently, my cousin has been really, really pissing me off. <sighs> not again, girls. Not again. Was it because of the way she dressed to church last week Sunday or what? Mm -hmm. That's not even the issue. Because immediately I got back from church, I reported her to my father. Yes, and he had all her clothes seized. He gave me so many of them to wear. He gave me the ones that will be my size. This one is included. And the ones that are not my size, he burnt them up. So <laughs> she's not even my problem. <laughs> that is good. Give me five. <laughs> she deserved it. Yes. Come on, girls. Why are we here rejoicing over our fellow girls' maltreatment? It's unfair. It's not right and you know that. Hey, 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 hey. That is not called maltreatment. It's called teaching of lesson. Oh, tell her. Mm -hmm. Hey, now Chisum, I want you to listen and listen very attentively. Okay, I'm listening. 
I will advise you to go home and talk to your father. Tell him that what he is doing to that innocent girl is not right. He should stop the evil maltreatment or else the wrath of God will fall upon him. And if that happens, I know you and I wouldn't like that. Ijama. Ijama. I'm telling you. It is you and your father and you and your father. Please, please, please. 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 Please, please, Friends may let it down. Things may turn apart. Children are so dry. Oh God, your tears will soon be dry. For the future is bright. Oh God, Oh, Ngozi, what are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. So you want to tell me that my father has been calling you for only God knows how long and you sit here doing nothing and you tell me nothing. Eh? How dare you keep him quiet? I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was calling me. Oh. How will you hear him? No, tell me. How will you hear him when your ears are deaf? How will you hear him now? By the way, I don't even understand why you're sitting here idle. You were supposed to be cleaning the house and then washing our clothes. So what happened? Am I seeing you? Are you deaf? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go and beat them now. I'm sorry. I'm going to clean them up now. Get off of me! I'm going to do that now. This guy is smelling. Hey! He actually means he has not even had a bath today. Hi! Hmm. <laughs> Imbecile. Imbe. Hey! My father is trying. You don't remember my name any longer, eh? What did you tell him, ma? What did you tell him, ma, Ngozi? You see, that is the reason why I told you that you are a wasted property from the city of the Orchins. Yes. I have warned you severally that you should stop making any form of academic support in this house. I am not yet done training my own children. Are you hearing me? Eh? How do you want me to place premium on you, training you, an invisible spirit like you? You want me to train you first before I, I, I train Mma and uh, my beautiful Chisom? Is that what you want? Am I the one that killed your dead parents? Are you not okay with the food that I'm giving you in this house? That you are comfortable with two square meals under this kind of harsh economy and you are still making further requests? I will kill you any other time you provoke me. And what, let me warn you, don't allow the evil spirit in me to jump out one day to touch you a good slap to wake up this your naughty, stinking, sleeping brain. Nonsense. If, if you dare me one day, I will kill you. Any other time you open this, you're dirty mouth to make any further request in this house. I will kill you. Uh-uh. What is wrong with you? Am I the one that killed your late parents? Am I the one? But uncle, you okay. my father, not your younger brother. If you, if you, so you still have the front to talk. You, 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 you still have the front Don't, 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 don't you see, you see how they want to talk back to me. It is, it is the hell. I'm, 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 don't, don't, don't let me kill you. Don't let me kill you. You're too much for the stupid. If you, if you, if you, I will, if you, if you, if you, I will, I will try to slaughter you. Are you an idiot? Eh? I'm asking you. If you talk any further, I will, I will make sure I am to the phone. Idiot. Use less care. Can't you allow me to enjoy my home? I'm asking you. How much did your father contribute to my family? Useless care. When they were alive, gravitating and moving up and down, painting the whole city red, how much did they give to my family? I'm asking you. Come and stand up, idiot. No, sir, get out of this place. Come back here. Have you feel that, Buddha? Yes. Eh? Huh? Once you are done with that one, then you should complete the other two. What is happening in your middle? Eh? Why are you rotating your waist? What kind of maturity is this one? Come and get away from here. Look at the way you are running your waist. Did you? Am I the one that 
imagine your parents. Every time you keep disturbing me in this house, are you not okay with the food I'm giving to you? I told you to be eating two, two square meals. Is that not okay with you? Go and wake up your dead parents from the grave and let them come and help me. Okay, and tell me, where are they? Nine years old. Oh. Uh, thank you very much. I hope they are all complete. Oh, boy, yeah. What is it? Okay. I heard you went to Ajirija's shrine. Why you went there, I don't know. But I don't care. But let me warn you. Let nothing happen to me or my family. Because I know your kind of person. You're an evil man. Moko Ojo. <laughs> Karo. Uh -huh. Do you think I will need to go to Adirija's shrine to obtain any power before dealing with you? Uh, yes. Tiny you? Karo, if you are a product, you are the type that in economic describe as something that has less residual value. Uh -huh. You are a nothing. Dealing with you is just like uh, going to Adrija Shrine to obtain some kind of power. Mm -hmm. It's like using a sledgehammer to kill a very tiny Swear. fly like you. Swear. Huh? <laughs> so I wouldn't do that if that is your mind. I am not interested in your programmer. But this is it. You have to be very careful. If anything happens to me or my family, empty threats. Empty threat. Say promise. Okay. Let me pass the last warning to you. Okay. Let this be the first and last in your life that you will ever see me, max me, or stop me to ask me any stupid question. <laughs> if you dare it again, I will personally use this in my hands, eh? Dip it inside this your busy eye and pluck it out from the socket and throw it to the dogs. Come on, get hey, out and let me progress. Oh, Come on, get out. There is when nothing you will do. There is nothing you can do. And don't follow me. I say you shouldn't follow me. Look at you. Come on, get out. Do you think that you come? Look at you. Look at, the, look at your movement. Look at your movement. Go and find out what has happened to your middle waist first before you talk to me. Useless woman. Useless woman. Yes, okay, I drop him as Where is your mother? Oh, she went to the market. To the market? Yes. All right, I'm going out. Hmm? But before I come back, make sure the dinner is set. Eh? And when your mother comes back, tell her to be ready for what we discussed. Hmm? Okay, okay. Papa, huh? buy something while you're coming back. Ibe, what is this thing that I'm hearing? What did you hear? Ibe, what do you derive in making your only niece unhappy? Dear Maxwell, just go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Okay. Ngozi was in my house yesterday. And she said that you don't want to send her back to school. Even as you are doing to your children. Which Ngozi are you referring to? You are only niece, of course. Your brother's daughter. Yeah. I know you, re you sold his house 
in order to train her daughter in school. So what is happening? You mean Ngozi came to your house to complain about me? Yes. <clears throat> it's not what you think. Eh? I actually have a very wonderful plan for that young girl. My plan is that after this time, eh, I will register her in a fresh time so that she can be able to cope with the fresh curriculum in school. You know this uh, subject, uh, some of this, this thing have gone far. There is no need taking her to the school because she may not cope. That is my plans. How can I be heartless to that beautiful young girl? This is not me. Mm. Yes. No, no, this one, I don't understand now. Huh? Mm. Uh -huh. if, do you even know that I doubted her in the first place? But I said, huh? I know my friend. That's why I came. Uh, uh, Maxwell, do you know that in this house, mm. hmm, Ngozi is the first person to eat? Are you hearing me? In this house, I have been buying clothes for Ngozi taking her out for shoppings, doing her good. Currently, as I'm talking to you, Ngozi has been going to different churches testifying of the good things that I've been doing. <laughs> She's the first person to eat in the morning. She's the first, first person to eat in the afternoon. And much more, when I bring anything good from outside, maybe village meeting, Ngozi is the first person I will consider. Yes, what you see now is the handwork of the mischievous workers, enemies of progress. People who don't like the face of eBay. But I will defeat them. In Let me just surprise you. Let me call her. There are, um, Ngozi. Ngozi. Sir. I'm coming, sir. Yes, I did. I want to ask you simple questions. Have I been unfair to you in this house? Hmm? No, sir. Good. In Anugwa? Have I not been treating you well in this house? Huh? You have, sir. Good. Don't I take your clothes to dry cleaner? Huh? Yes, sir. Mazi, all the makijin tigina no, it is good you use your ear to hear. Like I said, you have been going to. Have you not been going to churches to testify of the way I have been treating you, thanking God on my on my behalf? Huh? Yes, sir. Maxwell Topante, in case you are going to be in the midst of those the Bible describes as the untellable generation. Ngozi. Sir. That is it. Well, that is I'm Ibe, my friend. I'm not surprised because I know you too well. I know you as a nice man. Oh. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are very nice. Oh. You are very nice. Oh. You are very nice. So, so my daughter, you can go. Eh? No problem. You can go. That is it. That is the situation that I've been facing. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That is the problem. The problem is that we have some congregation of enemies who position themselves strategically trying to peep into what is happening in another man's house. This girl is very important to me, Mazi. Let me tell you, as long as Ngozi is concerned, Ngozi will finish in the United States, in the university. <laughs> My plan is that I even plan to take her out for shopping this evening to buy her clothes. And even make her out. enough. God, I know you're looking at me. I know you're looking at me, God. <laughs> God, I know you haven't forgotten me. I know you won't allow my parents to give birth to me. For me to suffer this way. God, please. Please change my story. God, please. God, please. <laughs> I am not the Ngozi I used to be. You don't have to take away my father and my mother away from me. <laughs> Why is my story this way? I can't help it any longer, oh God, please. Why do my parents need to die and leave me alone here? It's too suffer.
<laughs> God, please. I know you are listening to me. Please come and help me out of the hands of my wicked uncle. I hardly hit. I haven't taken my place since two days now. God. My uncle that called his name, my uncle to me. I cannot even save his younger brother child. God, please. Please help me. I know you are listening to me. I know you are looking at me. Please. Please come help me, please. Fifty thousand. That is five hundred thousand. Yay! Wow. Yeah. Fifty thousand. Hey, five hundred thousand. Oh, Papa, you're here. Oh, yes, so. I was looking for you inside. I didn't see you. Mm. I said, let me come and check for you here. I'm here. I hope all is well. Yes, Papa. Ah. Um, Papa, there's something I want to discuss with you. Mm. Okay. What is it? Okay. Um, Papa, just that I overheard you arguing with Mama. I hope all is well. My daughter, all is well. Only that your mother has become a bone in my neck. At times I begin to wonder if she's still the same woman I married years ago. Papa, how can you say such a thing now? Just take it easy with my mouth. That's all I have to say for now. It's all right. Um, what about your sisters? Oh, Papa, they went to fetch some water. Okay, it's all right. Um, you can go inside, eh? Huh? Okay, Papa. Papa, what are you writing? My dear, go inside. Leave me and my business. Okay. Mm -hmm. God, save me from the hand of this woman. God, my wife. father's compound. This compound belongs to me. Ngozi. Ngozi. Come here. Come here. I want you to explain something to me. So it has gotten to the point of you taking me to the public. Yeah? So you now report me to everybody you see in the street. I say like that here. I will be like 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 that here. see me. So I am now too small for you to recognize and even open your mouth to say, come on, good morning. 
What will I greet you for? Eh? Does your greeting bring food to the table? Can you fear Can I get me? Can't you quite warning? Let it be first and last you stop him because of this rubbish. You know, I'm a because of this rubbish. Let me ask you, if you are going to my house, my husband is not around. As you can see, I am on my way going out. Let me warn you, don't ever look for my husband again. Stop looking for him, evil man. Job model. Yeah, Azuka, is it me that you are talking to that way? So you now have the country to talk to me anyhow. Eh? There is no problem. You will see what I will do to you. I will make sure that I first of all I will tell my friend. Mawesi boy. Sis. You will see. Finish doing what you asked me to do. Mm. That's good. You can go. Go and look for something else and do in the house. There's so many jobs, things to do there. Huh? But Uncle, I'm hungry now. What did you just say? Hey, Ngozi, do you now see the reason why I told you that I hate to share the same air with you? You are a very stupid girl. If you are hungry, what about it? Eh? Do you need to tell anybody that you are hungry? By the way, do you know how many people that are hungry in this country? Even myself that is sitting down here. Let me tell you, I have been very hungry. I'm only just trying to control myself. Huh? But Uncle, you said I finished paying the food I'm going to eat. Now you are telling me there is no food. Oh, oh, oh. Gossip. Why are you hoping to be part of that food? No. Why are you believing God that you are going to be part of that food? Look at you. You have failed. You have failed because you are not part of that food. Are you hearing me? That arrangement is for me, Tisum, and Mama. And if, maybe if their mother comes in, then she can be part of it. But as much as you are concerned, you are not going to eat until tomorrow, 12 o'clock. <laughs> My uncle is unfair. What that many food are telling me I'm not part of it. I'm not that prepared the food. How dare you speak to me that way? Eh? How dare you speak to me like that? I'm asking you. How dare you talk to me like that, Ngozi? Did you give me any money to buy food in this house? Are you to tell me when to eat and when not to eat in this house? Let me ask you. How many times does your late father give you something to eat? I am asking you. I use my money to provide all those things there. So I will eat as I want to eat. So get out of my sight. Uncle, please now. If you want to enjoy this life, it's very easy. Go to the grave and wake up your late father to provide for you. Are you hearing me? I've got a lot of responsibility in the house here. <laughs> Listen, I will slap you if you don't disappear. Come on, get out. Evaporate. Listen, Ngozi, get out of my sight before I lose my temper. Get out of my... Come on, get out of my sight. Did you give me any money to buy food in this house? Huh? Why should you be the one that will determine how, how I eat my food, me and my children? If I want to finish one food basin, is it your concern? I said you are not eating anything until it is 12 o'clock tomorrow. When you do little things, you want to tell the whole Nigeria that you are working. Eh? Don't please anyone. Oh, my word, I'm
take now. I will not give you again. No. Take, I, I, I will not give you again. No. Take. take now. You will not open your mouth. <laughs> no, no. Mama, why did you do that? Mama, why did you do that? Jesus, my just pity for you. I hope your father will live long to support you know this attitude. Yeah. He will live long. At least he's still alive. Okay. So let me see enjoy him. <laughs> but that's true. Yeah. Hey, uh, and you're my sister. She's why are you acting like this now? Ungo, you're my sister now. See, take this. That's why I put one fork and one spoon. So that I'll be using the spoon and you'll be using the fork. Take. Take now. Take one. Go take now. I'll, I'll, I'll carry my food. Take now. Since two weeks now, I'm not eating in this house. It's okay. Now look at what I eat. Take, take now. Take, take. That's why I put, I put one fork and one spoon. Take. Take now. Go. For you inside. Why are you sitting here and you're crying? <laughs> What's the matter now? What's it? You don't know your father. What has he done again? <laughs> I haven't eaten since morning. I told him I'm hungry, so I should leave his present. <sighs> Sorry, don't worry, I I'll fix something for you to eat, okay? I'll prepare something for you right now. Chisum, what about this one? Ma. So, you mean you washed this clothes? I washed them. You washed it? Does this thing look like a washed clothes? Yes, sir. No, does it look like a cloth that is washed? I am asking you. Uncle, I don't understand. I actually washed the clothes. You don't understand that the cloth is still dirty? No, you don't understand that you need to wash my beautiful Chisum's clothes very well? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Eh? Does this thing look like a, a washcloth? Something that you, as if you just brought it out from charcoal and hang it here. But Uncle, I washed it now. You washed work clean. If you, if you open that or take him out to talk to me, I will make sure I sing this thing inside that your stupid truth. Eh? Can't you wash something very clean? Eh? What, what are you doing in this house? That will make you to be very lazy. I am asking you. 
Young Chisum can wash her clothes now. She's not a baby. Oh, but see, my ballo, Moguma four zero. You are still up. That's your dirty mouth to tell me that Chisum can wash her clothes. Then why are you in this house? Look at the damage you are doing to the bag of Gary inside. Look at the way you are developing at the middle waist. I may mean, have no it, you know. Hey, whoa, Moguma, Bob, but see, my four zero. Because you are not talking back at me if I open my mouth to speak. Because is it me that you are talking to? Is it, if, if you move, I will move you. Come here. Remove the clothes. Because you remove that peg. I will, I, will be, I will beat you. Remove it. Remove this one. Remove it. Yeah, go and carry on my go and wash it. Go and go and wash it. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, idiot. Idiot. What is wrong with you? Go and get something and first of all, I wash that clothes. Don't, I, I gave you soap to be washing everything. And when you finish, you go and mop the house and make sure you clean it. It's your lazy game. It's because of you, the president of this country is complaining that all of you are lazy. When you cannot wash common and uh, cheese on clothes. Idiot. Why wouldn't the president complain? How many clothes is here? How many clothes? Come and see what you, you say you claim that you wash. If the president says you people are lazy, lazy you, you people will be complaining. Eh? And I will go and tell him tomorrow morning that you did not watch the cloth well. I'm not here. Useless property. I'm condemning the president. Come and look at the way you wash clothes. Chisum. They both went to the market. Okay, if he comes back, tell him I was there. Eh? Oh, yes, <laughs> come, come. I don't understand. You were the one that told me the other day that your uncle refused sending you back to school. You know I can't say anything bad against him. Even in his present. But that was what he said. That I'm not going back to school. I should not even think of saying anything about education in his present. Uh -huh. yes. The other day, I was here with him. In his presence, you agree that he's taking good care of you. What happened? Sir, you know, you know I can't say anything bad against him. Even in his presence. You know that you don't talk about going to school again. That's when my parents died. And you don't know what came over you? I don't know. Well, anyway, that serves you right. When he comes, tell him I was here. Oh? Alright. Mm -hmm. Take care. Good day, Papa. What is it? Papa, I'd like to talk to you. Talk to me about what? Uh, Papa, it's about the way you've been treating Ngozi. Ever since her parents died, you suddenly turned your back on her. How do you mean? But what I'm saying that it's not fair. I, I, I mean, Ngozi cannot stay in this house and starve. I mean, if you don't want to send her to school, at least give her something to eat, Papa, please. You see the, you see the problem? Do you see the problem with you? That that good-for-nothing girl have succeeded in turning your brain upside down. She has bewitched you that even your normal brain is no longer working. Everything has knocked. Yes! Papa, really, I, I don't like the way you, you treat Ngozi. It's not fair. Papa, she's part of our family. She's like my sister. Papa, please treat her well. How am I treating her? 
How am I treating Ngozi? That every day, Ngozi, the next day, Ngozi. How am I treating Ngozi? If you are not comfortable the way I'm treating Ngozi, then go and rent your own house and put Ngozi inside and be feeding her. That I'm giving her four square meals daily here and you're telling me that I'm maltreating her, I'm doing this. Eh? So that idiot girl has succeeded in bewitching you that you no longer reason very well, Mama. I am asking you. Come on, get out of my sight. What do you know? Eh? Get out of my sight. Yeah, Papa, no, it's not fair. We should treat Ngozi well. Look at you. She has succeeded in turning your brain upside down. Eh? Every day, the only thing you talk about in this house now is Ngozi, 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 Ngozi. How much did she pay you? Get out. Mediator. If you want to treat her well, go and rent your own house. Eh? Or you can as well build your own house, then carry her and put in your own house. Ma, don't get me angry. Oh. Don't get me angry. You're making me look like I'm a, I'm a bad person. You're making me look like I'm a bad person. If any of the church committee is here now, they will think that there is something wrong that I'm doing. You know how many posts that I'm controlling the church? Eh? No qua. After one topic, you bring another topic. After another, you bring another one. Sisters, honestly, I am sick and tired of the way Mama talks to Papa these days. What is wrong with the way Mama talks to Papa? Uh -uh. Are you asking me that? Don't you have eyes? I mean, can't you see the way she talks to us nowadays in this house? This is all like Mama. Mama has suddenly become so wicked to us. Well, I don't see anything wrong with the way Mama treats us in this house. Please, if this is the reason why you called me, then I'll take my leave. Please, please, you're free to leave. You're just free to get out from here. Ah, Nonsense. You don't understand. It's none of your business. Masa Queen. Yes. Just look at her. Bye-bye. Rubbish. Sister. Oh. We need to call Mama and talk to her. Obi, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll know what to do about this. Just calm down. It's okay. Okay. Turn about Chukwon on so try Oh God in my Your tears will soon be dry For the future is bright Oh God in my Ngozi yo Ngozi yo Ngozi yo Ngozi Ah, what are you always thinking about? <laughs> eh? Mama, huh? I want to talk to you. Uh, what could that be? I know you've been helping me all this while. Please, I want to confide in you. Okay, what is it? I'm thinking of starting a little business so that I'm able to raise money to go back to school. Eh, yeah. and what do you think will happen when my father finds out? Ma, I don't even think about what anybody will say or do. Hmm. Okay. So, what kind of business do you want to go into? Well, I'm thinking of working on the street. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, where and how do you intend to get the money to start? Here is what I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I think I have a plan. And what is that? Come, please. Ah! Oh, we relax. It's work, huh? Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go inside. It's work. I... It's work. Um, Mama. We called you here because we want to talk to you. 
Okay, I'm listening. Speak. Mama, it's actually the way you treat Papa in this house. And also the way you treat us too. We don't feel happy anymore. The way I talk to your father. Ah. Chin. How do I talk to your father? Do I run around the house pushing him with cutlass? Or did I tie him on a, on, on a tree? Oh, but that's still, did I refuse to give him food? Let today be first and last that you promise such rubbish in this house. What nonsense. I do not blame you, but let me warn you, Uchenna. Let me put this to you. Let today be first and last that you have the courage to vomit such rubbish in this house. Eh, I don't blame you. It's because you are eating too much. Sick and naya. If not that I'm sure that you are my daughter, I would have said that someone exchanged you from the hospital. I fed you with my breast for, for, for good nine months. Eh, Uchenna. Instead of you to learn from me, you are, you are, you are learning the stupid father's character. Uh, Mama, I've told you, I've, I've told you. I, I mean, this is not the good example you're supposed to show us, so, show us in this house. We are all girls now. Uh, what, 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 Mama, Mama, what? what, 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 what <laughs> Shut your mouth. Oh, uh, Mama. <laughs> what do you expect us to, 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 to be doing to our husband? Is it the same way you treat Papa in this house? Come on, get out from here. No, 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 no. Shut her down again. <laughs> Mama used to tell them oh, that you used to treat us well as your children. But this, especially this weekend now. We'll not keep quiet now. Why will she shut up? You don't want to hear that one. Oh, I'll kill you in this house. I'll deal with you. You can't do anything. You, you will not can't do, do anything. when I dead rat. What if you hear me? Talk. Mm. Mama will we'll talk. We shall see. Speak. Mama, oh, Mama me, I'm hungry. Oh. You're hungry. Every minute you are hungry. You will take warm. Enter house, go and carry food and eat. Papa, why did you die? Why did you die? Why do you leave me alone in this world to suffer? <laughs> Papa, if you know this, I'm going to end up living my life. You may have killed me. <laughs> I can't continue this way. I can't. I hardly hate in the house. Put on a pick in my bed. Now I'm selling oranges. Orange of 10 10 era. Oh, I met her in school. Hey, young lady. What are you doing sitting here all by yourself? Are you even crying? Oh, tears has never solved anything. At least none that I know or have seen. So no matter what the situation is, you shouldn't be sitting here in this place crying. It's dangerous for a young lady like you to sit here and be crying. Can you come and buy orange? It's ten ten naira. It's not cost. Ten ten naira orange. So now we have one two. Three, four, five. Wow. So if I give you this money, you're going to go back to school. Okay, there's no problem. I'm going to buy all your oranges, okay? By the way, my name is Mary. Mungozi. Mungozi. You shouldn't be sitting here and crying. Now it's, you're sitting by the roadside and it's dangerous. Anything can happen to you here. There is a little I can do. My if dear. I don't sell this orange, I won't be able to go to school. I won't you be able to go to school. You mean you're not in school? Oh. Why? What about your parents? Mama, you sounded very angry on the phone. I hope all is well. It's my father. Your father? What happened to him? I don't understand him anymore. You know my cousin, Ngozi? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> what happened to her? I mean, my, my father treats her like a slave. The innocent girl barely eats in the house. Look, I don't even understand the sudden change of attitude towards her by my father. God. Honestly, I, I don't know your dad to be this heartless. You know what? Just be patient with him, okay? I mean, just take things easy. Please. I don't understand. The, the innocent girl, she's just suffering. She's going through a lot in her house. That was how everything happened. Oh my goodness. Ngozi, I am so sorry for the death of your parents, okay? But your uncle, on the other hand, shouldn't be treating you such wicked acts. <laughs> my uncle. I hardly eat in the house. What? I eat once in two weeks. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. Not just that. I bet once in two weeks. Oh my goodness, what kind of human being does that? And the funniest part is that, anytime I talk about going back to school in his presence, <sighs> He gets mad at me. Oh, he no. beats me. He even tore my clothes. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry, okay? I'll try and see what I can do to help you, okay? That is it. The trouble has begun. Whosoever collected my money, the world war will be more than what is happening in Syria. Who took my money? Ngozi? Ngozi? Chisom? Hey! I'm a good Chisom? Ngozi? Mma? Whoever took my money, Jason, Jason, if I if I catch the person that remove my five hundred naira, hi, where is he going? Somebody said he was going down. Papa, yeah? Papa, 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 I said I kept 2,000 naira inside the house. Somebody went there and removed 500 naira. Hey! 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 Papa! Papa, I said it. I have been suspecting that that ghost, that useless witch, is the person that removed the money. You see, you have just awoken my consciousness. I was thinking in that direction since. Eh? You would have told me. Papa, this is all these days. She and Uma has been doing some crooked work. I don't hey, understand. I was suspecting that common criminal, Ngozi. See, Papa, hmm? see, just forget it. The most important thing is how to look for your money. Let us go and catch them. I am sure they are somewhere inside the house. Eh, hey, listen, if I catch that girl, Ngozi, I will make sure that I cut off that her head and she will join her dead parents in the same grave. Yes. You know what? Hmm? I want you to follow this direction. Let me take this angle. In case if I meet her by emergency, I will cut off her head. Papa, eh? Papa, don't shout their name so that they will not hear your voice around me. Let us just be going. Good idea. Please take it easy. Maintain your own step. Are you sure of what you are telling me? What you have just said now, are you sure of it? The great Abbey is a moon. I am very sure of what I have just said. Is a moon. I am not convinced. But I have told you, because I am not a child, at least I should know what is happening within my family. Yes. Um, Mazibe. Have you asked any of your child 
or rather, have you asked your children before coming to the great Abbey? Because Abbey can never send you to any errand and disappoint you. <clears throat> um, it's a more the great Abbey. I asked almost all of them. Hmm? And they denied ever knowing how the money went. But there is this my child, Chisum, that told me that it was Ungozi that stole the money. The great happy. You know what? I am not convinced at all if it is Ungozi that stole the money. But I want you to give me a chance that we compel Ungozi to confess that she's the one that stole the money. That's all I need from you. There's a more. I hate that girl. I want to possess everything the father has. As long as that girl lives and have intelligence inside of her head, it means I may not have access to the father's wealth. So what I want, I want to steal everything. So compel her to confess so that I can see something to tell her that. Do you know what I mean? Please give me a charm that will make me. You know you have given me that. So what is the instruction to follow? Now, when you get home, use that soap and wash your face. After washing your face, don't clean it with anything. Then, call Ngozi and ask her whether she is the one or not. She must to accept to it. She will accept that she's the one that stole the money. Yes. Don't say anything. Stand up and leave. And don't look back. Don't look back. Whatever I do, don't please You are washing your face um, outside at this time of the day. Um, um, something fell into my eyes. I decided to wash it off. Uh, eh? And you had to do it here, outside the house. Do people have special places in their compound where faces are washed and where faces are not supposed to be washed? Hmm. But Papa, somehow now, you should have washed your face inside the bathroom, not here. You get out of my sight and stop questioning me. Get out of my sight. Why is this girl always spoiling something for me? Eh? What kind of what kind of uh, a, a child is this?
don't hide it. So you are eating. What are you doing, Ngozi? So you are eating. Mm -mm. You are not eating, you are doing praise and worship. With a spoon. Hmm? Ngozi. Yes. Hey. Hey. You want to eat? Hey. Hold on, hold on. Ngozi. Hmm? You want to eat food? You want to eat? You want to eat rice? Hmm? You want to eat rice? Hey! Hold on, Ngozi! Oh! So it is that pot of rice you prepared that you stole this one from? No! No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not quarreling with you now. Just remember that it's that rice now. Hope there's still rice. Don't worry, you eat from it, eh? You want to eat? You, you want to eat food? You want to eat rice? Hmm? Is that not so? You want to eat rice? Because you are my sister now. Why am I even shouting at you? You want to eat rice? You've not eaten for days, isn't it? Hey, yeah, I'm sorry. Eh? You want to eat rice? Eat your rice. Yeah, I don't know about you, Jeff. Oh, you think I don't like? Giving you the last chance. I am giving you the final chance now. Now, look at my face. Look at my face very well and tell me the truth. Did you steal my money or not? Because did you steal my money or not? Look at my eyes. Look into my eyes. I said, look into my eyes. <laughs> Now, I say, look into my eyes. Uncle, oh, please. Did you steal my money or not? Uncle, huh? oh, I stole it. You, you, you don't want to. You don't want to steal it. You don't want to steal it. You don't want to. You don't, you don't want to steal it. You don't want to steal it. Now. I mean, you, you want me to kill it? You want me? You come on, you. Tell me now. Tell me now. You want me to kill you? You want me to kill you? You want me to kill you? You don't want to talk to me. What? Did, did I consult you before? I, 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 I had the money. Did you know how much I suffered to get that money? I am asking you. I am asking you. Eh? Now, what did you use the money for? Where is the money? You are trying me. You are trying. I said, where is the money? Uncle, I used to buy food to eat. I was hungry. Oh, you were hungry? Just because of common hunger? <laughs> no, just because of common hungry, you now have the fortune to steal my money and spend it anyhow, eh? What? Is that what you are telling me? Are you, Uncle, are, 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 are you don't know what I said? I said. You don't know what I said. You don't know what I said. You tell me. Are you don't know what I said. Hey, hey, you, you know how many people are hungry? You know how many people are hungry? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Stupid girl. Do you know how many people that are hungry, that sleep for this with their food? I'm asking you. Where is my money? Where is my money? I said, where is my money? You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to me. Idiot. Idiot. Let me tell you. Until you provide that money, there will be no food for you in this house for the rest of two weeks. Oh, you're even touching my left leg. For touching my left leg, I make it three weeks. Three weeks! You thank God it is not the right. I didn't mean it is the right. It have been one month. But thank God it's the left. Three weeks. You can never eat in this house again. You stay scared. I will slap you. Provide my money. Did I tell you to go and steal it? Do you know how much I suffer to get my money? And then, you see, if you're hungry, why don't you go and beg your dead parents in the grave? Let them provide money for you. Die there. Go and meet them. Let them resurrect and come and give you food. Stupid. Idiot. Nonsense. That's that. Uncle, please, no. You are sleeping again. I am sleeping again. You are sleeping again. You are sleeping again. Idiot. Let me see you. Come on. Come and give my leg. 
I'm really sorry about what happened. I really apologize about what my father did to you. But you should have told him you are not the one that took the money. Ma, it's okay. It's just that I I don't know what came over me. When he said I should look straight into his eyes. How do you mean? See, he asked me to look into his eyes. And when I did, my body changed. So that was when I was able to tell him that I stole the money. Mm hmm? I sense something fishy here. Hope is not what I'm thinking about. Um, what are you thinking about? Um, don't worry, never mind. But I'm really sorry about what happened, okay? Okay. Have you eaten? No. Uh, no, I'll make something very nice for you. Very delicious. You enjoy it. Interest. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. See, girls, I'm I'm tired. I'm very very tired. Since morning, I haven't sold anything. You know, just three oranges. I'm really tired. I'm just praying that someone will just come and buy all these oranges so that we're able to go back home and, and have some rest if only my uncle will allow me. You're here complaining. Yours is even good. Just look at my own. Not so anything says money. I'm just tired. I'm fed up. I don't even know what to do with this one again. Mm. Mm. Why are you both complaining? I don't care if I sell or not. Oh, I'm just here to show him, you know, my beauty. That's what I'm hawking. <laughs> like, serious? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't know. Someone is taking good care of you, so why won't you just talk anyhow? Hmm. Your own is good, though. But who could that be? Well, so you don't even know. For your information, Rita here has a sugar daddy. Ha! Huh. Rita! What is her? You better wisen up. Huh? Don't say that was a lot of soap enter your eyes. Huh? What does that mean? Don't worry. Sooner or later, you get to know. Wow, not since I have not seen you before. I feel. Stop carrying the big man up and down. Better be careful. Oh, babe, let me just go. If I'm going to say something again, see, like this, I'm just tired. I don't even want to. Please, for me, let me join you. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I know. I know, my dear. You know, after the last time we met and I got home, I was thinking, I actually think you should pray and fast concerning your problem. What do you think? You know there's nothing God cannot do, right? I know, but auntie, I've been praying my only two way. That is good, that is good. But you know what? This time around, we are going to agree on the day to fast and pray. Yes. You and I. Yes, you and I. 
Mm, I like that smile. That smile like it. God bless, ma. Amen, amen. I bless you too, my dear. Amen. I bless you too. Hmm. So how is business? Well, I thank God. I clearly saw two oranges since morning out of 50. Wow. Anyway, you see, you know the environment, the where you are, that's why, and the weather. Don't worry, okay? Business will come, customers will come, okay? So you are here since all along I've been shouting. Eh? You didn't hear me calling everybody's name. If I did not hear you shouting anybody's name. You didn't hear me calling Chisomungo's name all along. If I did not hear you now. Mm, Papa, I, I did not hear you calling my name. I only heard you calling Ngozi's name. And I was wondering why you were shouting Ngozi's name. Where are the rest? Papa, is it that you've not heard? I will have what? Papa. Yeah. Ngozi now sells on the streets. She now hawks things on the streets. Hmm. Papa. And from what I heard, she's making a lot of money. I mean, plenty money. Listen, Chisum, I don't know how many times I will warn you that you should stop cracking joke with important matters. Yeah. Papa. This is serious, you know. Papa, but you know me now. Eh, Papa? You know me. I don't carry fake rumor or news. I don't do that now. Papa, the other day, I overheard Mma discussing with Ngozi. Yes, on how the sales of the day went. And then my friends on the street have been telling me on of how they see my cousin, my cousin's sister, hawking things on the street. Different things like oranges, bananas, different things. In this house? Papa, yes, so. And I was wondering why you allowed her. Listen, you know what? The only thing that I am against is the profit part. Let her hawk and disgrace herself and suffer in pains. But once there is profit, eh, I will drag her hand, bend it, break it, and take the money and add to myself. Yeah? Meanwhile, I will still beat her on top. You know what you do for me? Go out there, eh? break that big cane. Hmm? That stick that I'm looking at, break it. I will wait for her to come back and meet me in this house so that I can discipline her. <laughs> Go and get me very good cane. Get me a good cane. Let her go. She will go and meet me in this house. Bring the other one, the bigger one. That one that has large teeth. Uh huh. I bring it. That reminds me, my dear. Why are you not in school? There is no money. <laughs> what do you mean there's no money? Young girl like you, you're supposed to be in school with your mates. Who said so? Is that what your uncle told you? Well, he doesn't have to tell me. His action did. How can your uncle be so wicked as to allow you to walk on the street when you're supposed to be in school with your mates? That's what the problem is, though. <sighs> Don't worry, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. That reminds me. I was actually rushing somewhere, okay? Let me give you my card. Okay, here we go. This is my card, okay? You. you can always call me on this number anytime, okay? Anytime you can call me on it, okay? So, how much is your orange? 10 10 yeah. How much is everything? 10 10 and that one's red Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have bag? No. Okay, can I talk to them? I was telling her the one. Oh, yeah, so fresh. Mm -hmm. Just like you guys. Yeah, just like you guys. You know they're very beautiful. I keep smiling, okay? <laughs> Thank keep smiling. you. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes, so, you go home, look for something to eat. If possible, you rest, okay? I'll see you some other time, okay? I'll be expecting your call. So, bye. bye Take care bye. of yourself, okay? Don't forget to call me, okay? Yes. All right, bye, dear. Bye bye. Bye bye, Leo. This one. This one, how far now? So what happened? What do you want? Anyway, my father sent me a message to your father. Your father sent you to my father? Mm. You're telling me that your father asked you to come and deliver a message to my father? Is that not so? Wait, wait, wait. Is it not that your father that married that your mother 
that opened her top mouth to run against my father the other day? Eh? Are you no no? Are you trying to tell me that that your father does not know that he married a stupid wife as as as, as a woman in the house? Hmm? Are you trying to tell me that, that your father did not teach your mother how to respect another woman's husband? No, I don't understand. You will not understand. See, see, see. I don't even want to even waste my saliva to talk to you. Carry that your stupid message that your father sent you to come and deliver to my father. Take it back to him and tell him that you did not meet my father at home. And that you made cheese home. And that I chased you out like a dog. Ungwa, leave. I said she leave. Where was the leave her? Fuck Not said. Tell her what about you made cheese home. Give G up. To be funny. You say, I am so. because you'll be the one supporting me in as much as life is concerned. Well, I met a lady down the street when I went for walking. Though, we spoke at length and she also gave me a card to call her. So, I want to plead with you if I can make use of your phone. So, I'm able to call her. Uh, but you know you can always use it now. You don't have to ask, ask like that. Ma, thank you. I don't know how to pay you back. Uh -uh. You don't have to pay me back now. See, you are my sister. No matter what my dad or Chisum does to you. Hmm? God bless you. God bless you too. Anyway, how are sales been? Well, well I've been faithful. Thank God. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's good. When well, you have you been all day? As usual. I haven't eaten and I've been having stomach ache. So you don't you do something else. Eh? Yes, it's me, Ngozi. Yes, yes, yes. You got it right. They get a walk on the streets. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is my cousin's phone. Yes. I did help today. Your house? Okay. I'll find time to check on you. Alright. You can reach me with this line at any time. Okay, okay. Alright. Thank you. Bye. Hey! Ngozi is a thief. Hey! 
And why are you calling me a thief? Because you stole my textbook. I That's why. I've been looking everywhere for it. I, hmm? I did steal your book. I you just borrowed it to read. You borrowed it? Yes. Borrowed it to read. On whose consent? Huh? Did I give you my consent to take my book? Hey! This is how you've been stealing things in this house without anybody catching you. Hey! Chiso. Ngozi. Chiso. Ngozi. Don't call me a thief again. Otherwise, what will happen? Ah. Your dad will not be here to save you this time around. Save who? <laughs> Ngozi, you are a thief. Chiso. I said you are a thief. Chiso. <laughs> my boy. Hey! Ngozi, you took my boy and my test. What is going on there? Ngozi. Whose voice is that? Papa is, is Ngozi. Uh -huh. Papa is Ngozi. What about Papa. her? Ngozi is a thief. What Papa, happened? She stole my test. Papa, and eh? even my Bible. Papa, even my pen. Papa, do you know I've been looking for these textbooks for a long time since? Is Uncle Selayo. And so what happened? I just borrowed it from Master Dao. Was it true the permission that took, she took the book? Hey, Papa, Papa, why now? Eh? Can I borrow her something and be calling her a thief again? So who gave you the book now? Um, eh? You don't hey, know the angle I... of the person that gave you the book? Who gave you the book? Papa, oh. I've been looking for this book since, since. And, and so where did you keep it all along? Where did you keep it? You, are, oh, you don't have memory. So you want to have a poor knowledge with my daughter. You are measuring brain. You see, I've talked... No, 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 To allow yourself to be used by that wicked uncle of yours. I mean, take a good look at you. 
you big girl, pretty. You have to use what you have to get what you want, babe. Vita, why give her that kind of advice? Why are you a bad friend like this? Babe, don't mind her, okay? Huh? Whipping is just for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Leave this idiot in a room. Pastor Susan, preach on, preacher. Leave this idiot. My dear, I have a party next week. I mean, if you really want to make money, you just have to go on with me, okay? You enjoy yourself. Come on. Oh, God. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what to do again. Should I follow you? Um, Rita, what do you call yourself? Big girl. Oh, I should follow you, Susan. And by the way, we are all hawking. If I don't sell these oranges now, I won't be able to go to school. Or tell me, will you give me money to pay for my school fees? You don't have to be confused, my dear. I mean, you're pretty. You are. You don't need to suffer. You have to wake up, babe. Wake up and money will be nothing. But you tell me start spending on you, you know? Okay? Rita. Ngozi. Are you guys done talking? I'm going now. Are you people leaving me? No, we are coming. Come and take it. I've said my own. If you like it, don't follow us. It's your business. Buy your water. Buy your pure water. Vera. I don't know if I should listen to Rita's advice or continue living with my uncle. And you know he maltreats me a lot. I don't know if there's anything you can do for me. Just help me so I can go back to school. My dear, I understand how you feel. I know how your uncle treats you and how life is not being fair with you. But trust me, you don't need to listen to Rita's advice or follow her advice. All you have to do is just be yourself. Be you. See, I've made up my mind already. Because I'm a no fan. I need parental care. I need love. I need guidance. My uncle is not showing me all those care I need. Trust me, you don't really have to listen to Rita's advice. You don't have to follow her. I totally understand how things are not going well. But believe me, God is going to answer you. We all know Rita so well that she doesn't just hug. She goes the extra mile sleeping with men. And I'm sure that's not the life you want for yourself. That's not how you want to live. Trust me, you just need to hold on to God. He will answer you. Believe me. I've been praying in my own little ways. It's not time for God to favor me and answer my prayer. At least. I understand. The Bible says he blesses the works of our hands. You sell oranges. Who knows? One day God might just send someone to buy all your oranges and give you extra money that will take you back to school. And then you live the life you want for yourself. You don't need to be like Rita. Just be yourself and trust God. In this world? Yes, it does happen. Yeah. Okay. It still happens. I've heard you. Um, I'm so grateful. If not for your advice, I would have been like retired by now. My dear, you're welcome. Anytime. Anytime. All you just need to do is just hold on to God. Believe him, he will answer you. Hope we see you in church on Sunday. Yes, I will. All right, bye. Yes. See you next time. No problem. Bye. All right. What is your problem? 
What is your problem? Can't you open your mouth and say good afternoon? Come on, good afternoon. Can't you? Eh? I'm asking you. Uncle, good afternoon. Look at it. What brand of good afternoon is that? Is that the latest type of afternoon that your mates are giving? Don't you know the latest one that people add small?
Most my days will soon be dry, for the future is bright. A busy night. Your tears will soon be dry, for the future is bright. A busy night. I sent Holy Ghost fire to everywhere they have taken her name to. Any shrine, any covenant that have, they have taken her name to. I send the Holy Ghost fire there to destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I send the Holy Ghost fire to them, wherever they are, in their coven, monitoring her from any mirror. Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy their plan. I destroy their plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire destroy them. Anywhere they are gathered, any couple that they are gathered in any shrine, I send the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Because you are here. Come and join me. I'm actually interceding on your, your behalf. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I thank you for the life of your daughter, oh God. Father, I bring to you, I bring her before you right now. Anywhere the devil have gathered in her name, they shall scatter in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. They shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. I send the Holy Ghost fire to their midst right now. Amen. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost into their midst. Amen. They shall not succeed in any plan they have Amen. in their head. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. Holy Ghost fire. fire, destroy them, Amen. destroy them, Amen. destroy them, Amen. destroy them, Amen. destroy them. Amen. Destroy them. Amen. What are you doing? I'm fetching water. Fetching water? Yes. Okay. Um, what happened to the pants I asked you to wash for me? My pants. Eh, I came to fetch water now, so I used to wash the pants. Eh? You want to wash my pants with this well water? Eh, Ngozi? How many times did I tell you to always fetch water from the tap when you need to wash my underwears? I'm asking you! The water is clean now. Oh! Hey! Are you serious? What did I do for this world to hate me? What 
have I done that my word is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. Hey, my word, I stand back on me. What did I do for this world to hate me? What have I done that my word is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. I would have stumbled back on me. What did I do for this world to hate me? What have I done that my world is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. Hey, my world has stumbled back. This world to hate me. What have I done that my world is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. My world has come back on me. My world has come back on me. My world has come back. Family, you should treat her like her sister. Or is it because she's an orphan now? Sister, this is why you're talking to me. I don't know what I did, though. I don't know what I did. And see, I didn't even do anything. So who are you shouting at me now? Because you told me you are very rude to her. Because you said I'm very rude to her. I'm sorry, am I a mate? Uh, why would she be talking to me anyhow in this house? Uh -huh. Even if you are older than her, don't you know that you're supposed to treat her well? Or is it because her parents are dead? Chiso, this should be the last time I will hear you talking rudely to Ngozi or treating her badly. Do you understand? Sister, I didn't do anything to her. I didn't say anything to her. Every time you just come out and start shouting at me again. I've told you. Me too, I've, I've told you. Just come and shout at somebody in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty. Oh, what's left of my girls? Last night's sales was really great. I really enjoyed myself and I made lots of money. Me. Vita, you know we keep telling you. This lifestyle that you're living is no good though. You better stop it. For your own good, better stop. I've said my own no. Okay. Pastor Susan, preacher and preacher, you better use your body and make good money. Huh? So you can help your family from poverty. Stupid. You are talking. Can't you see? Look, didn't you look at Rita? Bossy, please. Poverty is, is all over your body. Um, <laughs> Rita, Rita. Rita, you know, you know you're my friend, eh? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been walking on the street together. You understand, eh? Mm -hmm. And, please, eh? I want you to lend me some money so that I'm able to pay for my school fees, eh? Please. Like how much? Just ten thousand there. Just ten thousand there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. You don't want to free yourself from bondage. Yes. You don't want to use your body 
can't make this cool money. Do you think money falls from heaven? <laughs> Don't worry, babe. I can help you know, link you up to some rich guys if you want to make cool money like I do. You will get more than this. Dorita, we are friends now. Mm -hmm. I don't want that kind of guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep my money. Because are you guys ready? I want to go and start my planting. Ma! Jade, Ma! Ma! Where are they, these children? Chisomu! Ngozi! Chisomu! You know that they left this house without even informing me. Ngozi! Ngozi! Ebu kwa mo mado ta. Mma! Ade mma. Chiso mu! Graduated from ordinary life to a professional liar. Yeah? No, Papa. The only progress you make in this house is to graduate from one season of lie to another, from another one to another. Yeah? You want to open university of lie in this country? No. Good. Then, where are you coming from? All along, I've been shouting, calling your name. Where were you? Yeah? You want to hide yourself somewhere? You think I don't know that you all those boys are busy oh. moving around in this compound? Now, for the last time, look into my eyes. I am giving you the last chance. I'm soon going to prove to you that what you are doing here, I don't like it. Now, I say look into my eyes. You are still stubborn, eh? Look into my eyes, oh. Are you hearing me? Because you look into my eyes. I will do something nasty, yo. I will do something nasty. Look into my eyes now. You don't want to look into my eyes, Eva. You don't want to. Do you need? I want to give you a miracle. Look into my eyes. Something good is going to happen. You want me to hit you, eh? You want me to beat you, or you want me to go and work those your dead parents to come and to come and help you? I said, look into my eyes. You are refusing, eh? You are. Look into my eyes, Ngozi. Okay, okay, I'm giving you a few minutes to decide. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. You see the guy, you are telling me that you don't want. You are telling me that you don't want. You are telling me you don't want to. You are telling me you don't want to. You don't want to look into my eyes. 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 You want me to kill you. 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 I'll kill you this house. Eh? Am I not your uncle? Doctor, I have the right to tell you to look into my eyes. I'm asking you. Eh? Do you know what is inside my eyes? Eh? Nonsense. Nonsense. Since you want to wear the demon in me, I will make sure that they descend on them. They descend on me. Thank God it is Wednesday. If it is on Thursday, I would have seen your neck and throw it in the dogs. Idiot. You see this your sleeping brain? You don't want to wake up this your sleeping brain. I had to share the same air with an idiot like you. Nonsense. Every day in this house, you will not allow me to catch my rest. What did I do to you? Am I the one that killed your little Nonsense. Back your this and get out of my house. You are not my child. I hate you. Make sure you don't come back to this house. You are not going to sleep in this house. Uncle, please, now. Nah. I'm meeting you. No sense. Friends 
Things may let you down. Things may turn about. Just one more song, child. Oh, God, in my your tears will soon be dry. But the future is bright. Oh, God, in my. I could remember the other day. My father told you to look into his eyes. And then you accepted taking his money. That's true. This is really serious. You mean he told you to look into his eyes again? Yes, you are right. But this time I ran, I refused. That's the reason why it beats me up. Almost moved my flesh or my bone. Huh. This is becoming really suspicious. Huh. I'm sensing something that is not right here. I think my father is evil. How do you mean? The other day I saw him washing his face with the soap and he looked really suspicious. That's a point. So what are we going to do now? I have a plan. Oh. Are you sure that it's going to work? It will now, trust me. I said there will be a market up. It must be a market or nothing else. Whoever stole my soap, today is the end of the day. Mma! Mma! Papa! Uh -huh. Please come. Mma, please. Uh. Tell me the truth. Who removed the soap I kept under the bed? No, I don't even understand what you're talking about. Which soap is that? Are you pretending as if you don't know the soap I'm talking about? I meant the soap I kept under my own bed. Somebody stole the only soap I have. Huh? Where is this soap? Chisom, dear. Chisom, come here. Chisom, who removed the soap inside my room? Who removed it? I said, who removed the soap? Why? Good. You are here. Look at your eyes. It's you that I'm suspecting. Who removed the soap? Uncle, it's not me. I don't even know what you're talking about. Who removed the soap under my bed? That is the question I'm asking. Papa, I think you should go and check your room very well because I don't see any reason why your soap should be missing or because I've seen anything. I don't know the color looks like. Uh -huh. so. Papa, go into your room and check very well. Mama, why do you like dragging me down like the television antenna? Why is it that any time I make any complaint here, you will never give it any value? Eh? You always like watering down my complaints in this house. Are you trying to tell me that I, I have no eyes to see? Eh? I sat for several hours before I come to launch attack here and you are telling me that I should go back to go and search. Papa, I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying that just check your room very well. That's all I'm saying. Jisum, huh? do you know anything about this soap? Because something will happen, no? Do you know about the soap? Mm -hmm. Papa, mm -hmm. the other day I, I, I saw Ngozi sneaking into your room. Ah, I'm sure she has stolen your soap. Jisum, hey. huh? what are you saying? Hey! Jesus. Hey! So cozy! It, it is you that I it, it is you that took the soap! Mom, you it is you that took the soap! I that man not about it! You 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 what, what, what do you mean by that? It's not me that I'm telling me that it! See, I have warned you! Don't ever call my name in things like this! So two of you are conspiring together! Uh, uh, so you, you said you you go like that! Go like that! Go like that! I will give you a backer style, though! I will give you a backer style! Hold on, let her provide my soap. Did, uh, did you say any soap? Uh-uh, sister. Why are you asking about your stuff? What do you mean by all? Oh, you said I was watching for her. She, she was the one watching. Oh. She was the one watching. 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 Sister, you want to kill me this house? You are Tissom. You want to kill me? Okay, Tissom. You know what is happening? Mama will no longer live in this house. They say she never cease to happen. So you mean your uncle has been using charm on you all this while? Hey, what a wicked world we are in. Well, Sister Mary, we didn't believe that until we saw the soap under his bed. Ha! Huh. Who would even believe that your uncle would go go that far as to use charm on you? Hey. My dear Ngozi, Ma. 
And you know what? I think God has started working on your behalf. Amen. God has finally answered our prayers. Amen. Hey, this is serious. How can your uncle be so wicked as to use charm on you? His late brother's only child. This is wickedness. Wickedness of the highest order. Hmm. Oh, wow. Anyway, my dear, you know what we are going to do? We are going to pray some more. We are really going to pray really, really hard this time around so that the chain will be completely broken. Okay. Understand? Yes. Yeah. Come on, my dear. Let's go inside. We need to pray some more. Come on, follow me. Thank you. Susan, why is your face like this now? This one you're looking like this, I hope all is well. All is not well, though. All is not well at all. What happened? Rita. What happened to Rita? I don't just even know how to say. You no, know, we keep telling her, but she wouldn't listen. I don't even know what to do right now. She's just there, she's crying. I don't even know. Eh? Look at, just look at where she is now. You want her, she won't hear, she will be there for me, big girl, and all those kind of Just look at her now, slave queen. Susan, you never like all these stories are giving me. Just go straight to the point. Okay, fine. Rita asked me to follow her to the hospital yesterday. Uh -huh. That she wants to go for checkup, she's not feeling too good. We went there together. Okay, fine. Bring the test, let's see. Would you believe Rita is HIV positive? <laughs> oh God, see, I know right from time, you don't like the way she's behaving. And even the way she's clubbing, you don't like it. Don't use that kind of broad for her now. Am I joking here? Rita is HIV positive. What do you want me to say again? Oh, Jesus. Wait. Susan, Rita is HIV positive. I hear so. Oh, God, thank you. If I be there to advise, by now I'll be an issue, I'll be positive. My uncle will just kill me. Oh, God. But why? Why? Why, Rita? Why? She's HIV positive, my dear. She's there. She's there if you want to see her. She's there. I don't know. One, no one I say can destroy. 
destroy me. No one has what it takes to destroy me. It's not possible. I will be vindicated. That is my magic soap. So powerful. My magic soap. This nothing will happen to me and my family. With this, I am protected. As I wash my face, there will be no effect. anything. Hey! Hey! Via! Chisom! Chisom! Hey! Ngozi! Where is this children? Please come! Come and help me! Hey! Please, please, oh, run! Chisom! Ngozi! Ma! Chisom! Where are you now? Please, you people should come and help me. My eyes is... I can't see. I can't see anything. Papa? Eh? What is that? I, I can't see. I, I, Papa, I can you say that? It's, it's me or Chiso. Papa, sorry. I used to... I, I, I use my magic soap to wash my eyes. Uh, the thing, I just got blind. Hey! Papa, Papa, Papa wait now. Papa, oh, Papa please, Savio. lead me to the house. Papa, where, okay, where, yeah, yeah. where is it? Where is it? I want you. Papa, come back. That's not the way. Papa, Papa, can you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is happening? Are you people deceiving me? Papa, it's not. It's Take me to the house now. Papa, come inside. Papa, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, Papa, yeah. Papa, 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 stop all this. 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 To confess my atrocities, oh! Try to confess. I want to confess, oh, my children. Ngozi, please forgive me. I have been the one behind all the evil going on in my family, oh. Just recently, I visited a native doctor who gave me charm so that I can be able to charm Ngozi, oh. <laughs> I am the one that killed my brother, the father of Ngozi. Papa, put you now. Hey! Hey! 
I am the one who I even conspired with Mazin Dupe also to kill my brother's wife. All of my did not do me anything. I am the one that killed your mother and goes all of my. Papa! You killed Auntie! I am the one that killed the both parents. Oh. Oh, Papa, why now? Why? Why would you do this? Hey! I thought you will will this properties to me, oh. Hey, Papa! Hey! Kill the mama, oh. I am the one that killed Nandi, the boy that came to marry you. Hey! Papa! Papa! Hey! Hey! Papa! Hey! Hey! Papa! Papa! Excuse me. That was it. I asked him to give me 50,000 naira. I said he does not have. That is why I put him in motor accident to die. Papa, could you? Papa! Hey! I am the one that rubbed that soap on my eyes so that I can be able to bewitch Ngozi and make her to look into my eyes so that I can control her anyhow. <laughs> there is no benefit in evil, oh. There is no benefit in evil. Oh. Evil is not good, oh. That is why I do not have my child. Oh, because he please forgive me. Oh, because he forgive me. Oh, I, I, I regret. Oh, I. Papa, why now? Papa, Papa, why? Evil does not pay. Oh. There is no benefit in evil, oh. If people should forgive me, I'm regretting every action I have taken, oh. Because if please forgive me. Ah, my innocent parents. Me, forgive me. I am the one that has been charming in Godzilla alone because of that soap. So, Mama, my mother, oh. Papa, sorry. I really go no more. Hey. I am not a blind man, oh. Papa, sorry. Oh. Papa. If I had known, oh, hey. I would have been treated in Gossi well, oh. Hmm. Papa, sorry. Papa, I said sorry. She so married, really, go no more. Maziba, what do you see, bro? Maziba is not a blind man, or what will people tell me? Papa, you mean you cannot even see me at all? I am not seeing where are you. You see me, eh? Oh. Papa. <laughs> Hi. Papa, you, you mean you can't even see anything at all? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, young lady. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon, my daughter. Please, who are you? My name is Mary, sir. And I work with Afro International Bank. I'm here to see one Miss Ngozi Raphael. Ngozi Rafael, I hope all is well. Yes, sir, everything is fine, sir. Tito, Papa. please, call, call Ngozi for her. Tell her that uh, she has a visitor. Yes. Call Ngozi. Nga! Ngozi, baby! Nga, Papa is calling you. Please, sir, what happened to your eyes? My daughter. My daughter. She's here, my boy. Please help me beg Ngozi. My daughter, it, it's a long story. Please help me plead with Ngozi. I maltreated her so much. I regretted ever maltreating her. She was supposed to be a niece to me, but I was not treating her well at all. Please plead with, this, plead with Ngozi to forgive me. Beg Ngozi for me, oh. I can no longer see again. Oh, Papa, my daughter, Papa, please. Okay. My daughter, please beg Papa, and go see okay, no. Sister, sister, please beg and go see. Beg and go see. Let me go see and forgive my father so that I can see again. Please. Please help us beg and go see. She has not come. It's okay, sir. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, sir. I'll sister, please. Please beg and go see. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to cry. I'll my father cannot see again. It's all right. It's all right. Don't cry, okay? Don't swipe your tears, okay?
Uncle, you sent for me. <laughs> Mom, Ingo, uh, yeah, I sent for you. I sent for you. You, you have a visitor, my daughter. You have a visitor. Auntie Mary, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ngozi. How are you today? Yeah. I'm fine. I can see. You're fine. Sir, let me go straight to the point. I'm here to inform you that your niece, Ngozi Raphael, has been given scholarship to study in the United States of America. And every expense has been taken care of by Afro International Bank, so you have nothing to worry about. The flight tickets, accommodation, her uh, uh, feeding, everything has been taken care of. So you have nothing to worry about. You're not paying for anything at all. Just... No, go ahead, ma'am. Congratulations, my dear Ngozi. Thank you. <laughs> that Ngozi has won scholarship. Where is Ngozi? Jesus. I know God will answer my prayer one day. Ah, oh, but Congratulations. Ah, thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you, I'm so grateful. What is it? Just tell me. Is everything okay? Excuse me, you're Why? You're Who are you? Just so you. Where is Ngozi? Where is Ngozi? please. Ngozi, please, come out. Ngozi, Ngozi. So you, you want to tell me now you've not heard the latest news in town now? Which news again? You've not heard the latest. Hey! You've started. Dude. You've started. Latest. Or is gay. Which kind of latest are you always talking about? Latest, this latest, is what latest. You want to tell me. Well, tell me. Okay, tell me. What is the latest? I'm all yes. Now, you know Mazibe. Mazibe. Why not now? You know Mazibe. Mazibe. The uncle to Ngozi now. Did you know the Ngozi very well? Why not? Ah. So you don't know that because Ngozi now is more prettier than the Mazibe daughters, the yeah. two daughters. <laughs> she has been going through hell in his hand. Ah. What do you mean now? You know Akbe? <laughs> Why not now? Is it not Akbe Shirai? I know there now. Mazibe, the other day, went to Akbe to prepare sham for Ngozi. Ngozi. For what now? Who knows? Maybe to kid a little, little poor girl that has been going through hell in his hand. Hey. Rose. The biggest Mas. issue now is that Mazibe has gone blind totally. Blind? No, no, you can't be saying the truth. You started again. You will call this thing you just vomit now a news. You will call it latest, latest, latest. Very soon now, you will say that they have carried to police station and she come and bail you. This is how you two start to. The other day you were arrested just because you said Mr. Okoro was dead. Hmm. The next few days we saw him. Next few days we saw him now. Yeah, you don't go. Isn't it obvious that he was not dead? Now you started Ramazibe is blind. It's as if you now have a better thing to say. That Mazibe is blind. Mazibe that I saw last week. Walking with his two eyes. Seeing it, he even saw me clearly. I greeted him, he answered. Now you said he's blind. How come? You are just here vomiting. I don't have better thing to say. You don't have any good thing to say. Me now, I'm going to Mazi Okoro's house. The man, the man you said he was dead the other day. My father had to instruct me to tell him something, so I have to just go there and deliver my message. I have to be going. Just sit down here. Keep on carrying your fake, fake rumors. Where are no you going to? There's no problem. You are leaving me. Stay there. You yeah, are Jude. Jude. Look at this boy, you. Ha -ha. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's been a while. Ah. Yes, sir. <laughs> How are your family? They're fine. You didn't go out to work today, hope no problem. <sighs> Nothing, I mean, no market. So, mom went to the market to get some stuff. Yeah. I was even surprised when I saw you at home. Okay? Guess what? What was that? 
Guess now. You know I'm not good at guessing, so just try. I don't could stop my treating you. You know I can never stop. It has always been that way. But by the way, let me tell you. Yeah, what is that? I've won a scholarship to study in America. What? Like seriously? Yes. You're not joking, right? Uh -huh. Wow, <laughs> babe, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Wow, like seriously. But how did it happen? You know that auntie I told you about? Which auntie? Auntie Mary. When I told you she bought all of my oranges. Oh, 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 that lady. Yes. She's the one that helped me out with it. Wow, that is so kind of her. Like, wow. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So, you're leaving us now. <sighs> I wish you could come with me. Uh, I wish also. Babe, I'm, I'm going so to miss you. you. I'm so, so happy for you, like, seriously. Yeah. I'm so you. happy for you, my friend. I'm so <laughs> Thank happy for you. you. Thank I'm you. going to miss you. This world who hate me. What have I done that my world is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. Hey, my world has turned back to me. What did I do for this world who hate me? What have I done that my world is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. My word has come back on me. What did I do for this world to hate me? What have I done that my word is so bad? Whatever I do, don't please anyone. Hey, my word has come back. For this world to hate me What have I done that my world is so bad Whatever I do, don't please anyone My world has come back